Hi everyone! Today's tutorial will be about the first piece from the cycle Kinderzene, from foreign lands and people. Actually, the title itself already tells a lot about the music. An adult person is looking back to a memory from childhood. A memory that happened far from home. It is a relatively soft piece. Therefore, we need to avoid any aggression in our hand movements so that the sound can be pure and colorful, just like the world of a child. Please make sure to keep your hands and wrists very flexible. The way to getting a beautiful sound is to feel the resistance while pressing the keys. The fixed wrist and stiff hands can be problematic when we search for this kind of sound, as it will produce sharp and metallic tone. Alright, if you are ready, let's start with the first phrase. I always like to start practicing with separate hands, but for this one, I have an even better suggestion. As you see, we have three different layers. I believe the most efficient and quick way to learn this piece is to practice each of these layers separately. We will first work on the upper layer, which is the melody, played with the right hand. Then the bottom layer, the bass line, played by the left hand. After that, we will work on the middle layer, which is the accompaniment, played with both hands. Later on, we will put all the layers together. It is crucial to master them separately, to be able to equalize when played together. Ok, let's first start with the top layer. It is essential the way we are going to phrase this melody, because later on, the other layers are also going to be dependent on it. Let's hear the melody once. The first motif appears three times, first twice identically and the third time slightly different. I will start softly and play the first two motifs with similar dynamics. With the third one I will go a little softer as it has more of decisive feeling. And then I will finish the phrase very gently. I want to talk about phrasing. I like to give direction towards the dotted 8 notes. Imagine them as a the destination you want to arrive to. And let's try to get there a little impatiently, like a child. And then finish the motif softly, kinda shy. To me this kind of phrasing brings out two different feelings at the same time, curiosity and shyness. The next motif I will do pretty much the same. The third motif is a little different, I will start with a similar direction, but less curious, perhaps more at ease. Children don't stay shy for too long. Anyway, in the last two bars I will fade out as the first phrase ends here. Now let's one more time play the whole first phrase. Please take in account the slurs on the top. Make sure to play legato as written in the score. It will help you to express the melody way more beautifully. Let's move on to the bottom layer. As I said earlier, we need to phrase the other layers just like the melody. Of course, it is crucial to keep it softer than the top layer, as we want the melody to be present when playing them together. Now let's play only the bass. Remember the direction in the melody and try to go with the same approach. Let's not forget to play with the same fingerings, as when we would play all the layers together. Also, make sure to fade out here, just like the melody. Now, let's play the melody and the bass slowly at the same time. 
try to play with a clear contrast between both layers. Let's, for example, imagine the top layer played by a violin and the bottom layer by a double bass. Let's move on to the middle layer. In a way, this one is the most challenging, because it has to be the softest and we need to play it with both hands. I recommend playing it several times until you feel comfortable with the coordination. These triplets remind me of the first moment of the Moonlight Sonata. I want to shape them similarly. The first tone more present, the second one softer and the third one even gentler. What most people would struggle with is to play the last one very softly as it is played with the right hand. Make sure you touch it very carefully. Alright, it's time to give it a try and play everything together. We said the melody is played by a violin with a present sound, the bottom layer softer as a double bass, and the middle layer perhaps like a harp, as quiet as we can. Let's move on to the next section. Here I will go pretty much with the same strategy. Perhaps it is a little trickier though, because there is a second melody on the left hand. Let's start with the top layer. In the first four bars we have double notes. Also here let's connect them carefully. I want to play the top voice a little brighter to make it sound more transparent and melodic. Try leaning a little bit to the right with your hand. As you heard, I start gently but with singing sound, and gradually decrease the dynamics. I like to cool it down here so that I can start an effective build-up in the coming two bars. Also, Make sure to slow down gradually from the fourth bar on, as Schumann wrote Ritternando. When we come to the fermata at the end of the phrase, we can take time to take a breath before returning to the first phrase. So let's decrease the tempo in the fourth bar and play even slower from the fifth bar on. Now let's go for the bass. Perhaps this time it could be played by a cello. It doesn't need to be as present as the right hand's melody, but still, we need to play legato and melodic. Now let's play the both layers at the same time. Try to keep the left hand a little softer. The middle voice will be pretty much the same as in the first section. Remember how we shape the triplets and try doing the same here. Also, try to keep it as soft as you can.
right, let's put them together. The last 8 bars are pretty much the same as the beginning, therefore I'm not going into detail. Perhaps just in the last 2 bars I will slow down significantly, to make it clear that this is the end. Now let's talk about the pedal. I will use the sustain pedal and change it with every beat. Make sure not to press it right on the beat, but instead right after it. That will prevent us from mixing the harmonies. It will sound way more precise and without any blur. In the next section, I like to use the left pedal when I want to play very softly. Only for two bars though. I think it fits very well here. Before I play it through, I want to mention that I am not a big fan of repeating the section identically when we have to play it twice. I would like to play both sections slightly different when playing the second time. In this case, the first half I will just play as I explained earlier, but I will slow down a little in the last two bars when repeating. In the second half, when I play it for the second time, I will show the left hand's melody a little more, just to give it a different flavor. Also, the last two bars I will significantly slow down when playing for the second time, to end the story. Now I'm going to play the whole thing and try to put together everything I explained. 